Okay, guys. Uh, hey, it's me, um, Kevin. Um, from here on until these books are done, I'm gonna do video devotions from books. Okay. Um, I have some books here, and I, ha I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be praying tonight, like hardcore, about this. But right now, I'm thinking of doing, like, a chapter from each book, each day of the week. And whether or not they'll be posted up every day, I have no idea, which I doubt they will. But, hey. Um, I'm being led right now to start this one. Um, can you read it? Can you read it? Get a little closer. Let's get it called character. You can't read the little writing. Okay. Old Testament people encounters with God. Okay. And then there's a shepherd's staff. You can't see it either. Maybe you can. I don't know. Hold on. Uh, no, I can't see it, but maybe you can see it later. But anyways. There's a shaft. Or a staff, my bad, a staff, staff, okay, but I'm going to start doing this, um, I'm going to start with week one, and go on to another book, or I'm going to do week one by the days that it has on here, and then I'm going to, that's week three, come on, there's week two, there we go, because there's five days to do them. So it leaves you, like, Saturday and stuff to go have fun. Or Saturday, Sunday and Wednesday to be with God or something, you know, that way. Um, but they're just little devotional books. Uh, I got one that I thought was a devotional book, but it's more of a... It is, but it isn't. It's more of a... It's the superhero one. It's called Holy Superhero. Let me show you here. Holy Superhero. Holy super. Okay. But it's it's more of a um more of a, what is it? What am I looking for? A research book. Like a research paper kind of thing. It's more of a lot like kinda of like that. But I'm gonna read the introduction to week one right now. And maybe I actually I'm thinking about just going week one, do this day by day. And I'm going to start this Monday. But, and then go on to a, a week one from the other books. And then so on and so forth. Um, but, except for this one here. I'm going to do every once in a while with screen production. Uh, me, Tyler, and Quentin, and whoever else comes. We'll be there. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, we got 316. Let me see how many weeks are in here. Or if there's weeks, if there's daily. I think it's daily. It's, yeah. Bless you! It's more of a daily thing. And then the other is more of a daily thing, too. But it goes through the whole chapter of John. But, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll just go... The first week, I'm going to do this. And then the next week, I'll jump over to one of those. And in the middle of all these weeks, maybe like a Saturday or something, I'm going to do the open table one that I just showed you earlier. Um, I didn't really tell you the title, but... Okay, um, before this gets any longer, I'm going to read the introduction to week one. Okay, week one. Jesus and the Old Testament. Here's your memory verse. Do you think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets? I have not come to abolish the, them but to fulfill them. Matthew 5, 17. 
it will be right here. Um, anyways, introduction. Welcome to the year-long journey through world, the Old Testament. Boring... Hold on. Through the Old Testament. Boring is the word some might use in the Old Testament to mention. But over the next 48 weeks, you'll discover that the first part of the Bible is anything but boring. If you like mystery, intrigue, suspense, heroes, villains, and the kind of action that would put many video games to shame, then you're going to love the Old Testament. Each week you'll discover how a character in the Old Testament was affected by faith of, in God. Right now, list your five favorite Old Testament characters. I already have done that because I was reading through this earlier. I was reading through the other books too. I read like the first chapter of each or something. Each day or something, you know. And I wrote one, David. Two, Ratchak, Meshach, and Abednego. Three, Moses. Four, Esther. And five, Daniel. And I, I had a shock here. Okay. Did you include Jesus in your list? Jesus? Yes, Jesus. He's the main character of the Old Testament because in Jesus we find the true meaning of the scriptures. I was like, oh man, I didn't put Jesus. I know he's in the Old Testament. I just totally forgot to put him. See, we forget Jesus even in the Old Testament. Right. In the life of the Old Testament character, God was preparing his people to find redemption in Jesus Christ. When you put your faith in God through Jesus, you're actually actually fulfilling the purpose of the Bible. Sometimes we focus on mir the miracles God did in the Old Testament, but remember that each event was performed for one reason, to point people to God who loved them. In every uh, over-the-top, blow-your-mind movement, God had the same simple message and the same simple purpose. To let humanity experience his awesome love. Hint. One way to remember the books of the Old Testament is to remember the two numbers 5 and 12. The 39 books are grouped into five subcategories. Five books of law, five books of purity, five major prophets, a dozen books of history, and another dozen minor prophets. What be doing? You heard the introduction. Maybe I'll do a little introduction for each of them later when the week comes into play but there's five days on here so each day I'm gonna do a video and this it I've been thinking lately that uh, I haven't had enough time with God and reading his Bible and reading his word and following his messages and I found a way that I can do this is by reading this to you. Like, not reading, but going through this, these devotions with you on video. Because I know it's not live, which I can make it live off of uh, Stick'em. But I just thought this would be a great way to get my fun and daily devotion in all at the same time. Because I like to film, and each day, I'll, before I do these, I'll read through them and try to make them as exciting as possible. But, um, I will, uh, talk to you later. Um, just pray for this. Well, we're gonna do some great things here. In God's name. Alright, see ya.